Shut up. You are such a liar. Do Why? not talk to her like that. The woman received her cancer notification, yet her husband showed no concern. Instead, he made her donate blood for another woman. In fact, this wasn't the first time William had made his wife donate blood for another woman. Madison stood nervously in the center of the hospital room, feeling uncomfortable. While William urged her to hurry up and donate blood, it all stemmed from Madison's coercion of William into marrying her initially, because William still deeply loved another woman named Andrea. When Andrea fell ill, the only person with a matching blood type next to William was Madison. At William's request, Madison agreed to this demand, but on the condition that William marry her. Back in the hospital room, Madison was already feeling dizzy, accompanied by the nurse's reminders and dissuasions, informing her that her body condition was no longer suitable for continuing blood donation. However, William persisted, showing no concern for Madison's condition. Eventually, Madison collapsed in the blood donation room. When Madison woke up, she found Andrea beside her, one moment filled with caring greetings, the next pinching Madison's needle sight, saying shocking words filled with venom and malice. Angry, Madison pushed Andrea away. At that moment, William entered the room, questioning why Madison pushed Andrea away. Andrea hypocritically uttered a forgiving lie. Madison, if you don't like me, I'll go, but please don't hurt yourself. Madison was furious, roaring at Andrea to stop lying. But William was the first to step in and stop Madison's emotional outburst, even threatening to kill her if she continued to curse at Andrea. As William and Andrea left together, Madison lay on the hospital bed beginning to realize. Memories intertwined with the ring on her finger. Madison still yearned for William's love, despite the harsh reality revealing her helplessness and despair. Madison returned home, answering the phone from her attending physician with a heavy heart. This doctor had known Madison for a long time and knew her medical condition well. After hearing Madison's test results, the doctor advised her sternly to seek treatment and leave her husband as soon as possible. Madison tried to explain, but the doctor angrily hung up. When her husband returned home, Madison expected him to care about her health, but his first action was to go to bed. They didn't even have dinner together. Madison resisted, saying she felt unwell and in pain but William angrily accused her of lying. Madison reluctantly compromised once again. Later, Madison couldn't help but start coughing. William thought she was acting again and rudely pushed her off the bed, saying, If it wasn't for Andre. Two weeks later, Madison's condition worsened, and she had to call William's home, preparing to tell him her decision to divorce. However, William thought Madison was playing tricks again and didn't take her words seriously. Because if you're gonna kill yourself, you might as well just jump out of a window. 